Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 24 of the Delico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. 956, tallest billboard. So, okay. Yeah, I'm still in Lisbon. I'm just hanging out. I'm going to the table real quick. Uh, yeah, let's figure out this poem. Uh -huh. <coughs> 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 Ah oh, man, okay. So you start billboard you want to have the largest height. Your bill will have two steel support on each side, each support must be equal right. So you have collection watch they can be reviewed together, so you have one to three, you could six, okay. So you're trying to figure out basically two numbers that uh Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, I think this is dynamic programming, generally speaking, and some of the, some of the watts um, going up to 5,000 actually proves it because then now you can just, well, do a DP on 2,500. Uh, do we have to use all of them? It doesn't seem like we have to use all of them, so yeah, so basically... Mm, so yeah, so there are basically a couple of ways to do it, but oh, sorry, man, I'm just struggling with just sneezing right now. But basically, hmm, oh wait, n is equal to twenty. I actually missed that. What does that mean for me? I mean, you could DP in a couple of ways. If n is equal to twenty, then you know, three to the twenty is going to be a little bit too slow. Um, being you know, part of A, part of B, and then part of just not uh, either one. So, yeah. Um, mm. Also, the thing that you can do is that you can keep track of the doubt turns that, right, because if the summit is up to 5,000, Maybe that's good enough, right? So let, let's kind of write that and give it a try. So then you can maybe just say, um, mm, I don't want to say it. Okay, so let's say you have death. Oh man, I'm, I'm sweating just sitting here. It's kind of uh, hot. Yeah, so let's say we have, have some index and we have the current sum or something like that total, say. Right? What does that mean? So then now you have two things you can, or three things that you can do, right? So you can use this as part of A. Or the left side or whatever you want to say so it's total plus parts of index and then you can use it as part of b something like this and then just not use either one right um so th those are the three choices that we can do it's always bit consistent i think we're fine so Yeah, so basically, if total is equal to zero, I guess, it, uh, yeah, let's say n is equal to length of watts, if index is equal to n, and this is just being, once we calculate all of them, if total is equal to zero, then we can return zero, maybe? Otherwise, we return some negative value, maybe. Mm, it's still really done. Yeah, and then here we can just add lots of index. And then now we return the max of these, right?
I wonder if I could do it here too, but yeah. But the idea here is that if we make one contribution to the left and that this somehow there's a way to get back to zero on the left side or on the right side so that the, 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 the delta is zero, then we could use this as part of the final calculation. Um, and that should be pretty much it. So this is very awkward looking. And of course, like, uh, oh, hmm. that's weird, but okay, fine. Uh, and of course, this isn't uh, good enough quite yet right now because of, you know, it will time out for any reasonable amount of things. So let's, uh, let's, let's cache this, right? So what, what is index? Index can go from zero to n. And total can go from... Uh, zero to the sum could go up to five thousand, so we'll just say five thousand, and maybe we can make an optimization here as well, right? Meaning that if total is less than zero, then we can return calculate of index negative total, so that we make it positive. For symmetry reason, it doesn't matter which one is left and which one's right, so we can do it here, and then for and then now we just add the caching, right? Uh, so yeah, and why is only up to, I don't know why that's only 20, that's, I think that just brought them a little confused about maybe, but that's fine. Display max is max sum is equal to say sum of rods. So then now you can do 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 cash is equal to none times this. And then now you all you have to do left is just using the cash, right? much it as we can see it takes n to 5,000 times so it's a pseudo now uh, pseudo polynomial algorithm uh, DP so yeah um, that's all I have for this one let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to your mental health I'll see y'all later and take care oh wait I should submit this first oh snaps hmm all right well that was unexpected I'll put four expected six. Do, 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 do. Why did I only get four? Hmm, maybe I can do this optimization. Okay. Hmm, then we can do another one, right? If total is greater than max sum uh, over two, so. Then we can return negative infinity. Otherwise, we can just use this plus maximum over two or something like this to handle the negative numbers. Maybe the negative thing kind of screw up with this, so we can kind of take a check. Yep, maybe. Hmm. My optimization is a little bit weird. Of course, you can also just cache it the normal way with caching or something, but. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, here then. If it's zero, you go to. Oh, it should be maximum over two. So maybe just like don't. And this is why you would have a library for some of these things.
Mm. Yeah, it should be okay, but. Maybe plus one. Maybe I'm just like all five one somewhere. Oh, but actually, somehow that was true. But right, well, yeah, made a silly thing. So the idea here is just to keep the the caching index positive. That's why we we added to delta so that when you have negative to twenty five hundred, say, you add it to um the, the middle thing so that it adds it back to zero that's basically the idea uh yeah that's all I have for today let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye